Welcome back to Usapang Bayan. Kasama pa rin po natin si Testa, Deputy Director General, Attorney Ted Pasqua. Rich, you wanted to ask uh, Ted something? Yes. Sir, we were discussing earlier po, uh, nakinomen po ni outgoing President Aquino yung leadership po ni Senator-elect Joel Villanueva sa TESDA. And other than that, um, pinuri niya rin po yung achievements ng TESDA for the last six years. Ano-ano po ba itong mga milestones at accomplishments ng TESDA sa um, six years under the administration of President Aquino? Okay. Uh, since we came in in 2010 up to the current year, Una, ang isang very remarkable and highly differentiated achievement is the employability rate. Uh, for those who graduate from TESDA registered courses or TESDA registered programs from uh, 2010 up to uh, when we came in up to the present, it was about 40 plus percent. Pero sa amin ngayon, it's 65, 67 percent. For the scholarship, yung Training for Work scholarship program, dati-dati it was around about 20 plus percent lang, 28. Now it's 72 percent. So the huge jump is already a big uh, reaction of industry accepting the employability skills of our graduates. Secondly, we were, be, we were able to be uh, ISO'd uh, among the educational sector, DepEd, TESDA, and CHED. We're the only one ISO, mm -hmm. no? and that started in 2012, 2013, but only for certain offices. Now, the whole TESDA nationwide is ISO for its three programs or three work capabilities, mm -hmm. you know, registration, creation of the uh, courses, and then yung, uh, certification and assessment. Sir, sa tingin niyo po, itong mga achievements po at accomplishments ng TESDA ay nakapag-contribute in a way sa victory po ni Senator-elect Villanueva sa nakaraang eleksyon. With about 10,000 graduates mm -hmm. for the last five and a half years before he left TESDA, and with roughly, sabi ko nga, now it's about 70 plus for the scholars ng TWSP, that's... Uh, you put the numbers there, that's quite a huge no, It must amount. be more than 10,000 graduates. Uh, 10 million. 10 million. 10 million oh, graduates. And then, uh, yung 70% uh, as of last 2014 ang uh, nakakapasok sa trabaho and the multiplying factor of that. You know, Patay nila, nanay nila. Yes. Uh, I've met so many mayors. Uh, they said, you know, when I became mayor, Unang problema ko dito, sabihin ng pamilya, uh, Mayor, wala ako nito, wala ako, kasakit, etc. But when I dealt with TESDA, put up a training center, and then nakalis yung anak niya working abroad. Eh, kahit na ba fiesta or ano, ang daling sabihin, kailangan ko lechon, kailangan ko. The point was, you put an individual into a capacity to get to work. And it, they become less of a problem, they become assets. That's right. And so that's the, I think, impact that this has made. Yun, yun ho bang sinasabi niyong employability courses niyo? Typically, how long would these courses be for? Six months? One year? O, ano bang from average? A, yeah, uh, from a short average. of about two, three months uh -huh. to six months. One of our longest uh, courses is a six-month period. Six -month. So, ang bilis. Y uh -huh. Why do you need to go to college for that? Num right. Number two. So, Ang daming mga nag-college uh, students or entered college, after two years, kulang na ng pondo Hindi to finish. Eh, two years wasted. And they do work which you know, any ordinary guy can do. C can I ask you a somewhat uh, maybe controversial question? No? Pero kasi ho, pinupush natin itong K-12, eh, K yes. no? which means adding one more year. Two years. To, uh, to, uh, adding two more yes. years no, to our educational uh, system. Eh, under your uh, employability programs, eh, sa loob lang ng anim na buwan, di ba, nung mahabang Maximum. course na yun, Oo. pwede na silang maging employable at saka napakataas ng employability rate nyo pagka nakapag-graduate sila nun. Sa palagay nyo ho ba, hindi kaya mas maganda na imbis niyo yung additional year or two years na yan, eh, napunta doon sa yung K-12 na yan, eh, naibigay na lang sa TESDA para naman, eh, Kung, let's say, minintain na natin yung current system, tapos yung additional years na lang nila na ibigay na lang sa TESDA, parang meron na silang alternative to a college education. Yes. Well, ito muna. K-12 is a good program. 
in fact, it's not only there because we want people to get educated per se, but it is a response to international uh, situations and commitments. Yung tinatawag nga bulong niya accord, yung uh, mga uh, accord for professions. Uh, we have a lot of college graduates who go to the United States and Europe. They want to take further uh, education. They will be said, no, you cannot take it because kulang ka ng two years. In short, all over the world today, ang basic education is generally speaking 12 years, minimum 11 years. But it's generally 12 years. So, sa academic track, doon sa uh, tinatawag nga nila na academic track, yon talagang kailangan ng mundo. I you don't need Eh, eh, yan lang naman pupunta sa ibang bansa. No. Because uh, about the knowledge content of it, that's another portion. So it's really getting to respond to that. Yung tech voc track, that's another thing. Uh, DepEd also went into the tech voc track, not only for uh, short term, but for added two years nga eh. But this is a preparatory work for those who could not really finish secondary school. And it's libre naman rin eh. Sa public school, libre yan. But uh, siguro, uh, let's give it uh, time to gel and see whether uh, kailangan pa ba sa TechVoc eh uh, talagang uh, two years. Mm -hmm. There may be instances when we need that. In fact, we're recalibrating, reformatting our offerings. Wala na yung, hindi sa wala na, but we are going to add courses that can land you uh, a longer period in school or training center than six months or four months. Kasi iniisip namin dahil we have a law, ang batas na yan, yung RA 10647, Enhanced Ladderized Education Act of the Philippines, where higher education will give equivalence to TechVoc graduates. Kaya lang, siyempre, kailangan ni eh, na up na rin yung ante ng kapasidad, eh, kung may yung academic track is uh, 12 years, baka sabihin nila, kulang ka rin. So, yung tech book track, doon namin tinataas. Hopefully, we could be able to find a good mix about this uh, within the shortest period of time. Ito nga, yung result ng mga dumarating ngayon na uh, around about 800,000 ang nag-enroll for grade 11, which is a little bit shorter than what was expected or smaller than what was expected. We're open. Mag-tech book muna kayo. Diba? Don't, don't worry about, hindi ako nakapasok, hindi ako nakatapos ng high school. You can go tech vogue and then go to work and then go back to school. Now, we're going to find a mix on, baka naman sabihin ng college, kulang ka pa. So, we're trying to fill that gap because the law allows it anyway. Then eventually, perhaps in a few months to about a year or so, we'll be able to find a good mix for it. Sir, are you able to monitor the progress of your graduates? Like, for example, may bumabalik po ba sa inyo at nagsishare ng kanilang success stories in life? Yun yan po. Uh, our monitoring right now is uh, uh, anecdotal to the following. Uh, kasi pag nag-graduate na yan, nakapasok ng trabaho, especially abroad, it's difficult to monitor them. Mm -hmm. Bilis magtapos ng cellphone and lumilipat na. But we're able to try to see like we have an e-learning capability. Yung e-learning uh, uh, test da namin, it's for free. Anybody here and abroad can just log on and then register. We want to register para matrack rin namin. But do you know that majority of those who log in come from the Middle East. In short, they want to learn more while they're already there working. So that the moment they learn more, then they can either come here or we have we're, uh, prepare, we're uh, doing programs now for foreign accreditation. We do the tests abroad and then they get additional certificates, then they get to higher levels of work. Kung dati housekeeper ka, uh, better skills, then later on you go to housekeeping naman sa hotels. Mm. And that will land you better jobs mm. no? better or pay. better pay. Or cruise ships, di ba? Cruise Mas ships. Pa. Mm. You know naman how many cruise ships are coming in the country mm. now. Yeah. Uh, Ted, I, have a, I, I just have a clarificatory question. No? You had said that uh, maybe the reason for the success of Senator Joel was because they had, you know, there were 10 million uh, graduates yeah. of TESTA during, let's say, his six-year term, no? Um, but you had also said that there were only about 500,000 graduates. Every year. Every year. Yes. So, paano umabot ng 10 million yun, yung, yung graduates? Because if it's five, 500,000, six years, that's only 3 million. Yes. Oh. Yung courses kasi namin nga, yung 
short term. Kaya hindi mo masabing one year, yung ganun ba? So, ang, ang bilis ng turnover, so we count it by the number of uh, uh, scholarships that are given. No? Uh, for example, uh, one year, usually we're able to track ang scholars are uh, 500,000. No? But actually, at the next year, yung hindi natapos in this year, next year matatapos, eh nabilang mo na yung slot na kinuha nila dito. No? So it, it's something that we, we ourselves would still want to have a good hold on uh, monitoring. <coughs> We've been trying to come up with arrangements like ang DepEd kasi the moment you er, uh, take uh, kindergarten, uh, previously and now this getting to be strengthened, you're identified with the number which you carry on until high school graduate ka. We would like to patch into that, hindi lang TVET or TechVoc lang ang numero, kundi we would like to you know, match that so that if they go to TechVoc, dala nila yung identity. So we'll be able to track oh, yung graduate mo na or yung hindi nakatapos ng four years sa high school, pumunta sa amin, because of the number. Pinagpatuloy nila. Pinagpatuloy. So that so will be a short, better handhold. Maaring nag-training sila sa inyo, hindi nakapagtapos, kinuntinyo sa iba. So in effect, nakinabang yes. din sila sa TESDA. Yes. So more than half a million yun yes. per year. Per year actually. But what we count is the heads lang. Oh. No, yung ilan ang nabigyan ng scholarship, ilan ang na-report na nag-graduate. O yung nabigyan ng certificate. Yes. <coughs> sure, gusto ko lang pong balikan yung pinag-usapan natin kanina, yung tungkol po dun sa progress ng mga graduates and possible opportunities for them po, no? Um, sa, uh, so far po, ano po yung naaalala yung most inspiring success story ng isang TESDA graduate? <laughs> Anecdotal naman ito, no? We could not cover everything. Mm -hmm. But they all ran the same course. Mm -hmm. Meaning to say, they were mostly people who could not really go to school anymore. Uh, or uh, they could not finish high school or could not finish college. Mm -hmm. Then for a short course, they get into it and they get into higher paying jobs or they get into entrepreneurial work. Mm -hmm. And more often than not, uh, they end up uh, very lucky or uh, very fortunate because there are a lot of graduates tayo. We cannot mm -hmm. uh, deny the numbers. For example, sa nursing lang. <coughs> Uh, for the last two to three years, there are about 36,000 nursing uh, board takers, mm -hmm. but only a third pass. Mm -hmm. San pupunta yung two-thirds? Hindi nakapasa. Hindi nakapasa yan. But then, they get into TESDA, either they take a second course, yung caregiving, or they go uh, medical transcription, TESDA course rin yan, or worse, I just don't want to mention it, but it's there, uh, mm -hmm. some get into masures. Ah, uh, oh. yes. Therapy. And they get they yeah. get get they get employed. That's the that's the sad story about that. Uh, yun lang sa lawyering, but I don't know whether I can be a good mouthpiece to say mag mag test na kayo sa lawyering. But look, and the last bar exam lang, 24 percent passed. What about the 75 percent? I see. So we're we're wasting a lot of human resource. And if only the mindset of people would really be shifted to say that you know, tech voc or motor skills are not something to look down at. Uh, that's a problem not in the Philippines alone, but in ASEAN countries, ganun din. But if you look at the profile of work, ilan bang presidente sa isang kumpanya? Isa lang. Ilan ang vice president? Ilan lang yan. Ilan ang ma pyramid. Yes. But the moment you go to the manufacturing portion, andyan ang marami. And then you can work your way up. Right. Nobody says you, you cannot go up. That's right. I mean, George is in the business. He knows a lot of people who started down there, yes. but then ended up president, vice president, manager, and the like. So, dun ang mali ang perspective. No, akala natin, no, agawan tayo dun sa iisa, when in fact, andito yung bukas na pinto. Oh. Ted, you know, we're approaching the end of our program, but I wanted to ask, in your opinion, where, ano pa ang pagkukulang ng TESDA o ano pang kailangan gawin ng TESDA para, para mas maging relevant siya sa ating mga kababayan at makatulong lalo sa ating mga kababayan? Uh, if we will be able to work it out well, which I'm sure we will, with the K-12 program. Kasi the huge number is there. And pangalawa, these are young people. Eh. Uh, training the elder is, is also our task. In fact, ang daming uh, magre-retire na 
policemen and army men at 56 strong, able-bodied, wala nang gagawin. Sometimes they get test the courses, automobile servicing, CAD operations, no? But county lang yun eh. Ang karamihan nandito siya ang people eh. So I think we have to find a good mix whereby if they don't go tech voc or uh, academic track, they will embrace uh, TESDA courses and they will be channeled here. And then if we're able to work out yung ladderized education very well, which I'm sure it can be done, then they can still go back to work eventually. I mean, go back to school. And we want them to go back to school, finish higher education, but hindi na sila problema ng magulang, hindi na sila problema ng kung ano-ano pa, ng lipunan, but yes. they, they can send themselves to school because yeah. they are working. And a lot of examples have already been shown, anecdotal as I said, as it may be, it is still possible. So, yung nice mixture na yan, coupled by what has already been proved, that middle-level skills or middle-level human resource skilled individuals can help the country when they are able to be capacitated for skills that are matching the demands of work. Mm -hmm. Yung ganon, very soon I think we will, our country is the youngest in ASEAN. Mm -hmm. So that's, and dun yung potential. Eh. We'll have more young people between 15 to 65, young 65, mm -hmm. up to 2050. Imagine that is a Japan ngayon. I mean, by 2020, majority will be senior citizen. And in other, uh, Singapore will be the same. Hong Kong will be the same. Very soon, Thailand. And their, their population is small. The only big population that we're looking at is Indonesia and then Vietnam. Kasi dun sila, nag, but Malaysia is small. Uh, Thailand is not that big either. So, tayo ang pinakabata. And if we're able to take care of our young people, put them early on, in, malaki kasi yung dropout rate eh. It's around 40% of those who take into secondary, don't go to college, for able to harness that. And even those who went to college who, you know, don't, cannot really finish, we, we know that, then they can take, take voc courses, get into employment or in, entrepreneurial work, then we can have a more capable human resource. So ngayon po na nakapasok na si former TESDA Chief Joel Villanueva sa Senate, were you able to discuss with him some legislations na gusto niyo po sanang i-push niya sa Senate kapag nakaupo na siya na concerning po or uh, that has something to do with the concerns ng TESDA? Actually, marami naman dyan mga legislators who are also looking at it. But he's special because he came from inside. Yes. And uh, in all likelihood, he will be the one that will be supportive of it first uh, call. Uh, Marami, we will be definitely turning over some suggestions, but one big issue that we could turn over to him is to put TESDA in its structure. Sa ngayon kasi, it's a little bit here and there. What do I mean? We are attached agency to DOLE, but actually we are part of the educational system. And then secondly, uh, since we're an attached agency, uh, kumbaga, hindi kami makalayo masyado, but CHED is autonomous or independent. DepEd is the same. Why not TechVoc? Mm -hmm. So that we can work together without too much, uh, uh, you know, you're too tight. You have to produce employers, employees. Mm -hmm. Education portion is kailangan. So that's one main uh, uh, legislative work that can be done. Well, uh, we're at the end of our show, Ted. Sana Thank maipagpatuloy you. nyo ang ginagawa nyong napakabuting mga bagay sa TESTA as uh, in your current position under the new administration. At yan po ang isang makabuluhang talakayan kasama si TESTA Deputy Director General Attorney Ted Pasqua. Maaari niyo po kami i-follow sa Twitter at GNL Usapang Bayan at sundan ang aming Facebook page. Ako po si Rach Marquez. At ako po si George Chua. Samahan niyo po kami sa mga susunod nating talakayan dito sa Usapang Bayan. Kapulang tayo.